the U.S. Navy's Orca Future Unmanned Submarine System. The Navy has finished its critical design review of the Orca, called an extra-large unmanned undersea vehicle and the 50-ton Orca, which would not fit in a submarine launch tube, brings an unprecedented sensing, endurance and attack advantage big gun construction, Captain Pete Small, Program Manager for Unmanned Systems, Naval Sea Systems Command, said in early May at the Navy League's Sea Air Space Symposium. Earlier this year, Boeing was awarded a $43 million deal to build four orcas. Boeing's Xlife Orca is based upon its Echo Voyager and Echo Ranger undersea drones. The Echo Ranger is an 84-foot long, massive underwater drone able to reach depths of 11,000 feet and hit ranges up to 6,500 nautical miles, according to Boeing data. The drone has obstacle avoidance, senior carrying capacity of up to 34 feet, autonomous buoyancy and synthetic aperture sonar, Boeing data states. Initial applications for the Orca include land-launched operations as a key step towards surface and undersea launches, Small said. The 50-ton Orca is too large to be launched from a submarine or ship in most instances, at the moment. For now the drone is primarily launched from a land dock. The larger Orca drone fits into the Navy's broad priority of pairing undersea drones with surface motherships able to coordinate command and control, receive information and in some cases, direct mission activity for the drones. The Navy plan is to one day soon have forward positioned undersea drones able to fire weapons. Extra large UUFs, such as Boeing's Orca, are certainly large enough to accommodate weapons payloads, and it seems such an option is entirely feasible, depending upon the pace of undersea connectivity and fire control. Of course, it goes without saying that use of any kind of lethal force would, according to Pentagon doctrine, require a human functioning in a role of command and control to make attack decisions. An undersea sensing UUF, like that which Captain Small describes, instantly introduces a new realm of combat strategies and tactics, many of which are still being developed. The first and foremost, it seems apparent, would simply be an opportunity for greater undersea security and stealth. Given the high risk nature of its mission scope, an attack submarine could greatly benefit from an increased ability to conduct reconnaissance missions close to enemy shorelines and in the open ocean, while remaining undetected. Small's conceptual vision, which is now being refined and explored throughout the Navy leadership, is to enable forward operating attack and undersea networking with other manned and unmanned teaming. According to Small, Autonomy can enable mission scopes previously not possible, such as longer range undersea attack and surveillance. A forward positioned undersea drone could, of course, operate in dangerous areas filled with mines, enemy submarines or other threats in both deep water and coastal areas. Being unmanned, they can also enable submarines to hit undersea surface or land targets with greater standoff distance and improved targeting. At the moment, undersea drones predominantly gather data and then return to a host ship before downloading data. The service is now working to evolve and refine a handful of new ways to communicate undersea in real time, in some cases using video-guided autonomous undersea attack drones. Other emerging technologies enable submarines to make use of undersea GPS-like connectivity. As part of this developmental trajectory, the Navy will accelerate integration of medium and larger undersea drones, which will include launching and recovering multi-mission undersea drones from submarine torpedo tubes. The construction strategy for the Orca and other drones is to engineer a new upgradable multi-mission drone able to quickly integrate new technology and payloads as they emerge. This technical platform could, in key instances, 
Obviate the need for the Navy to build new undersea drones in the future. The concept, when it comes to application, could involve newer, upgraded sonar, networking systems, new weapons and countermin technologies. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe.